we're at uh, The Space Miami, which is um, the home of a number of businesses, including our upcoming restaurant, The White Lotus, and Matthew Kenny Culinary, our culinary school. Tonight is a, an event, uh, it's a vegetarian dinner for South Beach Wine and Food Festival. Um, I'm one of the chefs, along with Alfred Portal and Alex Guarnicelli. It's about to start, everybody's having cocktails, and uh, 125 people coming in here. I think it's one of the, the only vegetarian events at the festival, so we're really excited to be here. Tell me what you got there on the plate. This is a uh, chia crisp with a, um, with a uh, smoked macadamia cheese, uh, mango and spice chili and uh, chili spice. It's just an amuse, like a little taster before the dinner. Anything else you want to plug your restaurant a little more? Well, I think, you know, we're going to be... Um, Thank you very much. We're good. We're, uh, we're building a beautiful restaurant behind this wall over here, and it's, um, it's going to be just a, a, actually the most beautiful restaurant I've ever uh, been involved in building. And uh, very modern, clean, open kitchen, um, all marble, and, and just it's going to be stunning. I can't wait for everybody to see it. We're we'll be finished with construction in June and be opening in September. And behind the restaurant, we have a culinary school, which is a state-of-the-art kitchen with um, the most modern equipment possible to teach students from all over the world how to uh, prepare plant-based food without processing it, keeping all the nutrients and enzymes alive. So our goal is to bring together culinary art and nutrition and show people that you can eat well and be healthy at the same time. And the 
we also want to thank Whole Foods South Beach. They helped donate a lot of the produce that we use this evening, and we are really thankful for their support. And I hope that you all enjoy your meal. Um, the chefs have prepared a beautiful wine for you tonight, and bon appetit. Thank you so much for coming.
We have a lot of plates over here. Anyone with an empty tray could over here. Right here. Go. 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 Thank you. Take these. Here, one more. Four. There's four. Let's sell these. I think one, this is 106. We told we were told 105. So we should be good on this. Do you, will you check? Are you done? No, we will be. Here. We're good. Check. See if we need any. Thank you, sir. The white stuff was coconut ice cream. The base was made up of coconuts and cashews. And that's really it. A little bit of vanilla. All raw. Made with our Paco Jet ice cream maker. There's four. Grab them. chocolate cake. It's made with almond flour and coconut flour and cacao powder, which is the, the powder from a raw cocoa bean, a little bit of maple and um, agave and vanilla and sea salt. So that's also a raw food dish. It's, um, it's not even dehydrated. It's, um, it's completely raw, pure ingredients with no uh, dairy or gluten or refined sugar and so forth. And the ice cream is made from uh, young Thai coconut and sprouted cashew, so it's um, you, you can enjoy it and not feel guilty in any way. So thank you again for coming tonight. The first serving was absolutely incredible. Um, the dumplings were amazing, and I'm a vegan, so I really appreciated the the vegan raw vegan of the dish, and it was it was absolutely incredible. And so was the dessert; it was amazing. Okay. Oh, I can. You better. Enjoy Matthew Kenny's food. Um, I think you know there's something spectacular about eating all raw, but kind of fooling people into thinking that they're not. There's something kind of seductive about that. Um, and I love the idea that food can be seductive and healthy at the same time. Matthew Kenny is really? the best of the best when it comes to raw food. It's not all raw, but it's um, all organic, all like nutritionally designed, delivered to your door. Very cool. How's it going? It's going really well. Good. We're in a hot spot right now, aren't we? We sure are. Like, it's amazing. Like health and food is hotter than ever. Wait, let's play a game, Danielle. Guess how old Matthew is. Well, actually, I think I just played this game recently. Someone 
someone asked me your age recently? You're no, you're not gonna answer. Just guess. Sure you know. I think I might know. Why don't you guess? No, because you tried to tell me earlier and you were wrong. She tried to tell me earlier and she said 40. Oh, she did. 50. 49. Yeah, exactly. I'll be 15. It's 50. I would say like 27. That's what raw food does. Health food. I had 27. Don't we all? <laughs> Amazing. I'm 27 and I think it's the best age it can possibly be. So when I turn 28, I'm still going to act this way. When I turn 45, I'm still going to act this yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. I'm 22, but she is my inspiration. By the way, we're on camera, guys. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, I totally forgot. <laughs> so I think that healthy food makes you act 27 for life. Exactly, because you feel so good. Exactly. Hi, I'm Alexander, author of Feeding the Hungry Ghost. I am amazed by Matthew's food. He was telling me about the dumpling, but they didn't, what he told me didn't do them justice. They are so vibrant. They are, they've got amazing mouthfeel. It's just got everything. It's got great plant-based energy. It's got great culinary style. It's everything raw vegan should be. The dessert is so, excuse me, damn decadent. Any shopaholic is going to love this. Even if, you, if, if vegan sounds weird to you, this dessert is going to sell anyway. Um, the food tonight was spectacular. All of the courses, um, it's spectacular that South Beach Wine and Food Festival is doing events like this that now are catering to a vegetarian audience. Because I'm so thrilled that I can go and not say, oh, I don't eat this, I don't eat that, or have to feel weird about it. Um, and it's so great to have a conscious community together. And we cannot wait here to open up a restaurant with Matthew, because I just want more of this every day. All right, so the food was delicious. Uh, my favorite, my favorite course was Matthew Kenny's. My favorite course is Matthew Kenny's dumplings, which were incredible, um, as well as the dessert, the chocolate dessert, and this. Uh, the location was fantastic at the space, and Carla Descal is a genius, as always.